Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, looking at SPY on the daily, weekly, and shorter term time frame. So a doji of indecision today, the reaction to the Fed minutes, certainly a pickup in volatility, but really by the end of the day, not a significant impact in where the price ended up. We did close fairly weak, and like I said, indecision, this doji at the top of an uptrend is a bearish reversal signal as well as the bottom of a downtrend, but we're not really at either of those positionings we were in a tight pattern and we had a bear break and now an indecision doji and to me that favors the bears there's not a convincing bounce on spy here and the hourly chart was oversold and if the bulls were really strong we would see a nice strong close towards the end of the day looking back up to recover we also rejected from 214 i've been pointing out that psychological support level we bounced off of it four times in the past two weeks Fell through that support on a bearish break yesterday, and now we back-tested and rejected from that level. So I'm favoring the bears. We have the 100-day moving average support and a little higher low pattern to be watching. So if we break this 100-day moving average, we're looking down at the September lows, 211.24, and a bunch of lows in the 211 area. Bearish MACD cross, the weekly time frame, still holding the middle Bollinger Band support of 213.15. If we close below the middle Bollinger Band, in the S&P 500, it will be a key loss of support, but even bigger key loss of support would be breaking the lows from September, as then we would have a lower high and a lower low, and a lot of room to downside in the low 200s. So looking at SPY on the hourly, this is the five-day hourly chart. So we can see the dump on yesterday, and the RSI got very oversold down to 21, 22, and we saw a little bit of a bounce at the end of the day. Now, from that bounce, we saw a higher low form, the low of today, and then a higher high. But we have now pulled back from there. So, again, it's a weak bounce. We have the 20-period hourly support at 213.67. We closed just below that level. And if we continue to see weakness tomorrow, we're looking back down at the low of today, 213.01, and the low of yesterday, 212.58. Resistance will be the high of today, and the bulls have to break that level to keep this higher low and higher high pattern intact. But again, bears are in favor right now because this oversold bounce did not amount to much, and the indecision candlestick on the daily favors the bears in my opinion. So we'll see how we set up in, in the pre-market tomorrow, and whether we're going to be looking bullish or bearish will depend on the moving averages on the hourly and the five-minute, but a bearish tone, and that's the way I will be looking. So I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in tomorrow. We also have that oil inventory report tomorrow. Don't forget that. Hasn't been a strong correlation between oil and the markets this past week or two. Certainly has stood out for that reason. But definitely worth being aware of if we were to see a big bearish or bullish reaction. It would likely translate into some action in SPY. And that's, all, that's tomorrow due to the holiday. It's usually on Wednesdays. So thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow.